happy vlogmas y'all um if you see that i have changed the name of my channel from concede nothing to get fit inside out because i'm just on a journey right now it is not um really all about weight loss and all of that um weight is just a, a weight loss would just be a nice consequence of you know of taking self-care in some other areas so that's why i said from the inside out so it's a transformation journey it's like a becoming journey so i changed my name on my page to get fit inside out and um i also have an instagram page get fit inside out i just started it last night so there's really not much on that page yet at all um but i think once i get rocking and rolling i know i'll probably post a lot to instagram because instagram to me in a lot of ways is just easier um but yeah, so it is Monday. I am headed to work now. I have a meeting this morning. Try to collect myself, get myself in the right mindset before I um, go and hit a work right now. Because right now, my work environment, not just right now, for a while now, my work environment has been um, extremely challenging for me. Uh, and it actually has nothing to do with the work itself. The work itself, I love um, the work itself as far as um, what I do and, and how I work with other people. I really love that. But there are some other challenges and it's very stressful to me. So, it, and it deals with marginalization. Um, it deals with uh, people who are in a position of power, um, basically shutting you down from access and exposure. It's just all of that stuff. And so, um, yeah, and so it's just been a journey even trying to adjust to that um, because, <clears throat> you know, to give you to give you just a cliff, cliff Notes version of, of what I feel, you know, I bust my ass actually to, um, you know, to earn access, uh, to show my skill set um, so that I could align myself for um, the type of promotion that I want. I know I did that. I know I did it successfully. I have the emails. I, I have the uh, comments and everything made about about my skill set. And so it almost feels like with a flip of a switch, with um, there being um, some changes, that all of that just went down the toilet. And then there's an expectation that I'm just supposed to smile and grin and be happy with it and act like, None of that happened. Act like I haven't been disrespected. Act like I haven't been trashed. And I'm just supposed to smile and be a team player and act like it's cool. Well, it's not cool. It's not cool. And and I feel like even the expectation that I should be cool with bullshit is is that whole kind of abuse of power, oppression, that kind of thing. And I'm just I'm just not down with it. But what I am down with is I love. I literally love what I do. Um, and my company, I have no beef with my company. This is a couple of people who are in powerful places who have a certain level of control. That's where my issue is. Um, but, and, and, and again, I also have a mortgage um, <laughs> and, I, and responsibilities just like everybody else, right? So, <sighs> keep pushing. So, what I, what I have um, been practicing though is because it bothers me. And so I have to, I've had to really try to learn how to process that because it bothers me a lot. <laughs> it bothers me a lot because it's kind of put me in a place professionally where I feel like I'm in a, in an environment where the, where the, it's regressive and and I've been kind of, I don't know, maybe I, I don't need to say but so much. But anyway, um, it's frustrating. So I have to find ways to deal with that frustration because I think like even this year, I think a couple of months ago, I had a um, shingles outbreak. And you know, we know how you can get shingles and blah, blah, blah and all that. But I really feel like stress, and my doctor even said that stress could have triggered it, could have activated it, because I've been under a tremendous amount of stress. Um, and so, because I, I just don't take disrespect well. I don't take disrespect well, and I don't take it well when the people doing the disrespecting come off as somehow they have the expectation that you just 
you know, you need to kind of step and fetch a smile and grin and act like everything is okay again. Everything is not okay. Um, that was bullshit what you did. And so, yeah. And I, I, respectability politics rarely favors <laughs> the woman or the minority. All it does is put the person who's victimizing people more at ease to continue their shit. So, enough on that because if I keep talking like this, I'm going to be in the wrong frame of mind <laughs> for um, my work day. And I, and I don't want that because at the end of the day, I don't need my health to be impacted. I don't need my emotional state to continuously to be impacted. Um, I got shit to do. I got shit to do, shit to do that I care about. And uh, so I just can't let that be, um, you know, I just can't let that be something that derails my spirit. So I, I, I'm practicing, y'all. I'm practicing. But uh, anyway, so I'm headed in here to work right now. Um, and I hope it's a good day. So I'll talk to y'all later. It is the end of the day. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, but it was a real good day. No drama. <laughs> no people getting on my nerves. Not really. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm trying to hurry up now and get home because I did order groceries last night on Instacart. And I apologize, guys, for you all not being really able to see. When it gets dark, it gets dark so early now. But um, I ordered groceries last night from Instacart and they should be delivered between 6 and 7 and it's like 5.30 now. So I'm going to hurry up and try to get home for that. I love Instacart. I love Instacart. Normally I have, when I used it in the past, I used Instacart for Publix. But this time I used it for um, Kroger. And I think the prices were actually cheaper for Kroger. But I love Instacart. You just can't beat it. I just ordered the groceries from the app. And you deliver them to my house when I say based on a schedule. I love it. I am going to work out tonight. And even if I just end up walking just a mile, I am going to work out tonight. Now, truth be told, I'd rather go home get comfortable, eat my food, and watch YouTube videos and Netflix, but I'm not gonna do it, Jesus! <laughs> I'm not going to do that tonight. I am gonna watch Netflix, but I'm gonna watch Netflix while I'm on the treadmill.